hello everyone welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to show you how you can get started with the wordpress on your windows operating system we will be using the tool something called map so let me just quickly jump into the browser and source for download map and just go to this first link from map.info so let me just quickly download it for windows so let me just click here so once this exe file is downloaded so let me just go into the folder and if i just double click onto this so this should open the installer so let me just click on next so if you don't want to install the MAM pro which is the paid one so you can just untick here and let me just click on next so accept the license agreement and just click on next so just press on next and you can just create the desktop icon as well and just click on install so this should now install the MAM onto our system so here you can see the setup has been completed so let me just click on finish so let me just close everything from here and if i just go into this uh, start menu here and source per map and just click enter so this will open this map here so now if you just click on this start server so this should start the apache server you can see so it has started the apache and mysql server so let me just go into the browser again and if i just type localhost and just click enter so you can see so this is getting the data from the index.psp so let me just quickly show where this index.psp is coming from so if i just go into the file explorer and go into this pc local disk c and inside the map so inside the sd docs so here you can see so this is coming from this index.psp so if i just delete this one and reload this localhost so you can see so this is only getting this uh png logo here so let me again go here and delete this one as well so if i just click here uh, to reload this page so here you can see so there is no any content here so inside here so inside this uh, sd doc so we just have to install the wordpress so let me again go to the new tab of the browser and search for download wordpress and just go into this first link from wordpress.org so let me just quickly download this uh, wordpress so at the time of recording this video 6.3.1 is the latest version so once this zip file is downloaded let me just go into the finder and let me just right click and extract all so we can extract it directly into the browse and let's go into the this pc local disk c map and we have to extract it inside the sd docs so let me just go inside the sd docs and select folder and just simply click on extract so here you can see the wordpress has been extracted inside this sd docs so now if i again go to the browser and just type localhost slash wordpress and just click enter so this should now open the installer of this uh, wordpress so let me just click and continue and just click and let's go and you just need to create one database so now to create the database so just go into the new tab and just type localhost slash map in capital letter and just click enter so this will redirect you to this um, uh, interface so if you just scroll down so you will be able to see this configure your mysql database with the psp my admin so just Press on here, PSP my admin. So this will open this uh, MySQL database administrator tool. So here you just need to click on this new and create the new database. So you can just give the name something like WordPress. So just click and create. So this will create the database WordPress. So now again go to this uh, WordPress setup configuration and just give the database name something like WordPress and give the username something like root and give the password uh, as well root. So just give the root password and you just need to keep this default and just click on submit. So just click on OK and run the installation. So he inside here, so just give the site name something like code with Arjun blog and give the username something like code with Arjun or you can just give the username something like admin as well. So here in password, so I will keep something like test123 so you, you can just uh, you know give the strong password as well so i will use the weak password and here you just need to give the email as well so i will keep demo at the red gmail.com and now if i just click on this install wordpress so this would redirect us to this uh page and here you can see the wordpress has been installed so just click on login and we can just log in using this username which we have set up before so just give the username and in my case the password is test123 so now if I just click on login, so this would redirect us to the uh, WordPress backend here. So similarly, so if I just go into the new tab and just type localhost slash WordPress, so you can see, so this is the basic uh, front end of this uh, blog or this WordPress website. 
So now let me just quickly install one of the appearance. So let me just go into the appearance themes and click on add new so you can just uh, you know go into this popular one so i would go with this extra so let me just click and install so just press and activate so this is saying us to install this starter template as well so let me just click on this install the starter template as well so again go to the dashboard here and let me again go to the appearance themes and let me just click and customize so here let me just click on publish so again if i just go into this blog and reload this one localhost says wordpress so here you can see so this is the website which we have just created from plugins so if i again go to the dashboard here so let me just close this one and go to these pages and here if i just go into this home and edit so just click on edit so let me just close everything from here and we can just edit this page something like let me just type something like code with arjun and let me just clear this one as well and let me just type something like code with arjun is a youtube channel and just uh change this into something like visit the visitor website and if i just update this one so just click on update and if i just go into this blog and so this is the local host as wordpress front end so if i just reload this one so you can see so this has already changed here so this is how easy it is to make the website using the wordpress thank you so much for watching if you like the video be sure to like share and subscribe i will see you in the next one